So Gordon Caruso attended the Vancouver School of Art and did postgraduate studies with Richard Dyle Ben Horn at the California School of Fine Arts in San Francisco. In Vancouver, Caruso taught at the Langara College and UBC. He retired in 1989 from teaching and in 1992 located to Salisbury Island. His work in Vancouver was often color-filled with a strong gestural component including symbols like crosses, oaks, O's, X's, uh, triangles. A late series there feature paint over applied photographs. On Sun Spring Island, Caruso frequently painted on irregularly shaped canvas onto which he had collage sun dry materials like barks, sticks, things that he found on the island. His work became increasingly emotionally charged, like you can see in many of the examples here in this show. He was not a reactionary painter but most characteristically an expressionistic and shamantic one. Caruso created a large body of work of high quality and many examples are in this show, feature in this show. Um, one important thing to know is that Caruso was born in 1923 and died in 2004. Most of the paintings like this one here, and this one is a very exception, well, at least in this show, it's a very small piece, uh, are collage. And the collage, when you can come and see the show for yourself, you will notice that he uses, or he used a uh, lots of dark colors like blacks like dark browns I use very light and bright colors to do the contrast and almost all the paintings have his characteristic symbols like I mentioned before X's O's triangles With example of the X's and triangles with this paint here. Like I was saying, uh, the majority of the paintings in this exhibition are pretty large. And very interesting for the eye because of the size of the paintings. You can sit in the gallery and observe the paintings for a long, long time and you will find out many, many, many details 